This episode of the Sloopcast is brought to you by the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company is an Ohio-based company where they usually say our seasoning will take your barbecue from good to great. To make that great barbecue, you can use the great seasoning suit such as the Mad Hatter, which is a salty citrus pepper blend that gives a great it's great for those that love that salt kick. It's a uh, great finishing salt or even to rim off of your um, your glass, such as like the Bloody Mary and other drinks or the savory, which is what they put in their pulled pork over at the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. It's salty, savory mix that is sure to be a favorite at your next barbecue or the good old classic S&P Bud. It's your it's your salt and pepper blend with with supporting spices that adds that great flavor on your briskets or a type of beef or chicken. Be sure to use those and all the other great seasons over at the BBQ.com. Again, that is the BBQ.com. Be sure to use that promo code SLOOPCAST10 at checkout for 10% off your entire order. Mad Barbecue Company, where they have your butt covered. This episode of the SLOOPCAST also brought to you by the Iron Bean Coffee Company. The Iron Bean Coffee Company is an Ohio-based, veteran-owned, Uh, I already said Ohio based, right? Micro roaster. Uh, They're based out of or actually just near Toledo, Ohio, more specifically Perrysburg. Um, All of their coffee is hand roasted in micro batches and it's not roasted until you order it. So it's not sitting around on a shelf. It's not sitting around in a warehouse or on a truck. No, you're getting fresh coffee. It's all fair trade certified, which means it's moral <laughs> it's as moral as coffee can be uh usda certified organic um just making sure that you, there's no nonsense in your coffee no one likes nonsense in their coffee uh some people do but we don't talk about those people uh there are gift cards available there's subscribe and save services available free shipping over 50 dollars uh, all of their beans are imported um directly from farmers in Colombia, Brazil, Uganda, Honduras, Peru, Ethiopia, Indonesia, and other far off lands. Stewart says those uh, nonsense people we were talking about were Teton supporters. And yes, exactly. So you can find all of that and more at ironbeancoffee.com. That's Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. All right, YouTube, we uh, we have something special, something special for you guys today. Um, oh, did I? Oh, oh, no, it was Nomad. My bad. <laughs> Nomad said that the audio listeners will never know because I won't address it when we return to the audio listeners. All right. Uh, this is a special episode. This is a this is a unique episode, but we'll explain that because the audio listeners probably should know about that. So, Kyle, let's let's not screw around. Uh, let's get right into the episode. What do you say? Let's do it. We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing pretty well. How are you doing, Jared? I'm doing OK. I have no complaints. Um, Kyle, this should I think. This is a unique episode. Um, mm-hmm. One thing that makes this episode unique is that it's June 22nd is when we're recording this. And I have no idea when we're going to release this. This is a shelf episode. Uh, this is just sort of a like timeless episode. Uh, it's We're not going to talk about any news, no current events. Uh, this is just an episode that we're recording ahead of time in case we can't record or maybe just don't want to record an episode one week that we still have something to release. So we have no idea when we're actually going to release this. Jared? Yeah. It's a wasteland episode. It is a wasteland episode. Um, <laughs> That's all you had to say. It's a wasteland episode. It's a shelf episode. All right. All right. Let's uh, the get the other thing full... I want to say, Kyle, um, is that this episode is going to be a little more visual than than our typical episode. So if you're an audio only listener and you've never checked this out on YouTube, this might be a really good opportunity. This might be a really good jump on point to check us out on the YouTube side um, because there there's a little bit of a visual component to this. Now we're still going to bring the audio folk along. Don't get me wrong. It's it's you can still just listen 
audio wise, but it's going to be a little more visual than maybe what you're used to. Yeah. So check us out at either, either uh, YouTube channels, either at the Buckeye Soupcast or over at the Buckeye Scoop. Yeah. Um, uh, YouTube dot uh, the Buckeye. No, nope. Uh, <laughs> Try that again. YouTube dot the Sloopcast.com. And you'll find uh, our channel there. Uh, and then you can also just search Buckeye Scoop on YouTube, find their YouTube channel there. Subscribe to both, because why not? Yep. All right, Jared. Today's episode, State of the Program Tier List, 2021 version. I need I need to switch the camera. We're on our traditional camera view right now. All right. I, I can't to... tell, but... No. <laughs> maybe but now i'm now i'm definitely it may have still been going through the camera well i think the discord folks still had it because they were hearing like actually me through discord but i don't okay. think the audio was getting recorded um, I got you. but I, I do think it's getting recorded now so yep. i i think uh thank you youtube people for for sticking with us through that thank god i noticed the little green line wasn't bumping around anymore um <laughs> all right so state of the program we we did this once before we're going to go ahead and do a 2021 version of it here. So we've, today we're going to we're going to go through this all. Hmm? We've never done this before. We've done something like this before. Yes, we have. Oh, ooh, one of us is crazy, and I'm not like <laughs> which one. All right. So to break this down, break this down, we're going to have a tier list. We're going to rank S, A, B, C, D, E, F, all the way down of all of the Power Five teams plus a few of the non-Power Fives. I think we have a handful of those as well. So we're going to rank them all as S tier being that they're expected to win the the national championship all the way to F tier where they just have no hope at all. Yeah, th this is how I defined it when I sent it to Kyle. And we've already kind of, we, are, we both made like independent lists already and we've looked at it and we already disagree a ton. It's going to be fun. Uh, but the guideline I sent to Kyle was this S tier expected to win national titles, a tier realistically capable of winning a national title, B tier realistically capable of winning their conference and or making the playoffs. Um, C tier hopes to win their conference soon. D uh, middle of the pack conference team might upset a uh, blue blood every once in a while. Uh, e tier. They're just trying to get bowl eligible is an E tier team and an F tier team is just a drift, hopeless, rudderless, uh, disaster of a program. So I'm not going to repeat any of that. So good. Good luck to you guys. All right. Um, well, first off, Nomad, I don't have any of those yet. I'm out. I'm out of that. I got to restock. But um, all right. We're going to do some lightning round. Uh, um ones that kind of just off the bat that we both agree real quick here yeah, so there's S -tier, like 74 Jared. teams here so yeah starting starting with the lightning round we're going to do some obvious ones okay all right, all right. ohio state alabama clemson s tier no yeah. questions absolutely so right. let me let me go to the correct screen all right ohio state s tier clemson s tier bama S tier. All right. All right. Uh, I'm gonna, these these I'm teams gonna... make the playoffs the most. Uh, these are amongst the only teams to win a national title during the championship uh, era, during the playoff era, that is. Um, I'm going to try and not move the graphic around too much, but no guarantees. Um, all right. All right, Jared. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to mix it up here. I'm going to go all the way down to the F tier. All right. Yeah. We, we filled in the top. Let's fill in the bottom. All right. The, Teams that we agree right off the bat, F tier here. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll start with the Big 12 here, Jared. Kansas and Kansas State. I already, I already had my cursor on Kansas. <laughs> this ain't Kansas, basketball. Kansas State. This ain't basketball, uh, you guys. Uh, Oregon State. 
Yeah, those beavers. Uh, Illinois. Oh, Illinois. And then even uh, Santa Claus couldn't save you, Illinois. Nope. And then South Carolina and Wake Forest. And we both have South Carolina down there. Oh, even the I'm gonna I'm gonna keep moving this graphic. Yeah. I have, a, okay. I have a few more I'm surprised you didn't have down there, but those, these are the I'm ones sorry, that which, we agree which, with. Which other one did you say? South Carolina and Wake Forest. Wake Forest. Yep. These, are, these are some hopeless programs, you guys. All right. All right. Um, all right. We're going to go through just a couple more here. So move it up to the A tier, Jared. Uh, A tier. Kansas State's terrible. That's why. Yes. A tier. Realistic to win. Um, it, it, these, these teams could win a national title. Yep. Um, yeah. I think we agree, we agree. Texas A&M and Notre Dame. Yeah. Th- those teams are capable of winning a national title. Um, just as programs, not necessarily this year. Don't get too caught up. This is not about like this year. This is not like a 2021 prediction. This is like health of the program. So I don't think Notre Dame's capable of winning a national title this year, but I think as a program, they're doing well. And maybe I'm just killing some time um, because I, I I just don't oh, up there. They are. I couldn't find them. <laughs> all, right. all right. And then all right, then B tier. Um, uh, we had two. Ooh, oh, Texas A&M. Yes, yeah, Texas I think this is a team that, honestly, I think Texas A&M is very good. Unfortunately yep. for them, they're in the SEC West, which is just. Yeah, a, a gangland. We didn't mention Oklahoma yet because we have a disagreement there. So Yeah, we're going to fight about Oklahoma. <laughs> All right. And then the B tier. So this is the last one before we kind of start fighting about other teams here. So the B tier, teams that are um, realistic to win their conference and potentially make the playoffs. So yeah, Maybe make the playoffs. Yep. All right. Um. Cincinnati, the Fighting Fickles. Yeah, I think this is uh, one of the best non-Power 5 programs in the country. Um, Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, under the current playoff system, I think the best they can shoot for right now is is B tier. And that's not fair to them, but that's reality of the 14 playoff. Maybe things get better if if we move to 12. Yep. Uh, B tier, uh, in the Big Ten, Wisconsin and Penn State. Yeah, I think uh, as, as as James Franklin once famously said after blowing a lead to Ohio State, we're good, we're great, but we're not elite. No, <laughs> no, James Franklin, you are not. Nope. All right, um, going out west, Oregon and Washington. Yeah, uh, these are the only teams from the Pac-12 to make the playoff. Um, yep. Oregon actually won a playoff game. I think a lot of people. The only one. The, the only the only Pac-12 team to win a playoff game. Yep. And then LSU. Which, by the way, is still more than Oklahoma or well, Oklahoma. Yes, but still more than uh, the Big 12 can say. Yeah. And then LSU. LSU. Yeah. Uh, LSU is weird. I don't know what to do with LSU. They're one. Yeah, that's season, why I put them in the B tier there. <laughs> they're one season off of a national title. Yet they were horrendous last year and i kind of don't have faith in the program but yeah. they're also just one season removed from a national title yeah you could have put lsu in the s tier <laughs> you could have put lsu uh maybe down in maybe all the way down in c you could say that gangland you really could uh, yeah, exactly. Gangland uh, says Burrow and Joe Brady's title, not LSU's title. And I, I think that's. I think that's great. I don't care about the S&P. You, you get your S&P plus out of here. Nomad. <laughs> All right, Jared. All right, let's let's get into some disagreements here. So we got we got how many is that? Two, four, six, about 15 teams. We got about 15 of the 74 teams. So we got about 60 teams to go here. All right. <laughs> So should we start off with the ones we're going to be passionate about, or should we just get some of these who cares out of, out of the way? Um, I, I say let's 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 go with the AAC here. You want to do let's, it by conference? I, you know, what? I, I I got here. I, I kind of like how I have here. So the AAC, All right. All right. Um, Tulsa. I have Tulsa that actually I'll put Memphis in there too. Tulsa and Memphis, I put in there. They can win the conference soon. I, I think they're right there, just just a below Cincinnati. There, I don't think they're close enough to make the playoffs or or anything. That's why I didn't put them in the beer team. But 
I think they could win the conference, but uh, I think Tulsa we, and Memphis, I have them on at Tulsa. Uh, Tulsa, a, a step below Cincinnati. Memphis, like Cincinnati won it this year, but Memphis beat them twice in a row the year before that. Um, I, I think that they both really have solid programs um, that are currently limited by the four team playoff are currently limited by the circumstances that they're in because they're not in a power five. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I don't think that there's a discernible difference between Memphis and Cincinnati from a program health standpoint. What do you think? Did I, did I, did I persuade you? C can we put Memphis in B? I don't know. I, I still kind of have, have them at C because I just don't see them as like a playoff team though. Well, B isn't playoff team. I don't think um, it, it realistically can win their conference. They realistically could maybe in a chaos scenario, make the playoffs. Is, is there, is their ability to make the playoffs any worse than Cincinnati's? Yeah, I, I agree. Exactly what Nomad said. If you're going to penalize LSU for like what they did last year, you got to do the same thing with the Memphis. Hmm. All right, N Nomad, uh, I guess we'll, we'll allow Nomad to play the tiebreaker here. I disagree, <laughs> but I, I don't want to spend the next five minutes arguing about Memphis All right. football. All right, put him in C. Put him in put C. Put him in C. All right, Houston. Houston, I got the middle of the pack there. There's there some years that, yeah, they could be good, like, kind of like what you said. Hey, they could beat some of the top teams in their conference, but I have them as like middle of the middle of the pack there. Which the middle of the pack? Give C. me a letter on that. C, C. I had him at D, and uh, you know, now that you've made me think about it, hey, you're probably right. If for nothing else than the sheer amount of talent in the Houston area, mm -hmm. if, yep. if nothing else, that. So yeah, I'll, I'm gonna let you have that one too. We'll okay. we'll we'll put Houston at C. All right, and then ECU, the Pirates, the Purple Pirates over there. I'm not even sure why you put them in here, Jared. I have them, <laughs> I have them at F. I have them way down at no hope. Um, they've put together some really good teams in the past. Um, mm -hmm. Not like recently, but I think that they have. How do I say this about uh, about ECU? Um, after the Big Ten steals uh, North Carolina in Virginia from the ACC and they joined the big 10. I think the ACC should bring Eastern Carolina in. I, I think you put them in the right circumstance. I think Eastern Carolina could, could perform. All right. You could put them at E, but I still think they're F, but I, I won't, I won't try to spend too much time on that. All right. All right. Um, all right. FBS, the, the teams with no, no conference. Yeah. Uh, we agreed on Notre Dame. I, I think that they're they made the playoffs. They got they got trounced by Bama, but who didn't? So did so did Ohio State. Um, they've made um, they went to a national title game the year before the college football playoff. Um, I think that they're making really good strides. They're recruiting better than they've ever recruited. Well, not ever. It's Notre Dame, not ever. But in the in the past decade or two decades, they're recruiting better than they've ever have before. They're a program on the ups. I I I like Notre Dame. I'm just not willing to put them S tier yet. Uh, Texas A and M, I also agree, is on the ups. All right, uh, BYU and Army. BYU, they they can't they can't win the conference, so I couldn't put them in C. So I put them on D there. Um, yeah, I, I think they had a good quarterback last year. Um, you said D. I said D. Yeah, that's fine. I think they had a good quarterback last year. They overperformed because of it. Um, that's, that's not. Yeah, I could see them. Yeah, no mad. I agree. I think, I think I can see. I don't, they are not. No, uh, I, I, I don't, I'm not trying to get into it. They're a very religious school and the pac 12 is very uh california um i don't see it i just don't see that being a good culture fit all right army an army here i like army the, should, should you have, 
in your spreadsheet, I think you missed Navy. I also have Navy on here. Oh, I did miss Navy. Uh, you can put them in the <laughs> put them in the same boat here. I just you can put ah, them like ah, a, ah, you can put them ah, like ah, in same boat. Haha. <laughs> 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 um, you could put them in like D E somewhere around there. I like Navy more than I like Army, generally speaking, uh, mm. program health wise. Okay. How about how about this? We put we put Navy at D and then put Army at E. Navy D Army E. Mm -hmm. All right, I can get behind that. All right, all right. Uh, Boise State. I'm waiting for No Band to chime in on that one. I see it typing. <laughs> um, Navy has a better shot at winning the ACC than Houston. I hard disagree with that. AAC. Yeah. Did I say ACC? You did. Whatever. The AAC. Hard disagree, Nomad. Hard disagree. All right. Uh, um, Boise State, Jared. Boise. Had... Uh, Boise is not quite what they were. No. Nope. Uh, they were the indie darling for a long time. We've not really seen them crack that scene in a while. I think that they still have better brand cachet than pretty much anyone else outside of the Power Five, outside of Notre Dame. Agreed. Yeah. So that I, brand cachet still carries something, even if the Mountain West isn't what it once was, and even if Boise isn't quite what it once was. I think I think the brand still counts for something. I got them C. I agree. All right. And then the last one here, a little odd. We're going out to the Sound Sun Belt team. Yeah. Michigan's favorite team. Yeah. Appalach the Appalachian State Mountaineers. Superior tier. Yep. No. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, I think this is another team that could uh, potentially fill a slot in the ACC. Uh, where, where do you have Appy State? I know my initial rankings there, Jared, but I think I think I'll put them up a little bit. I think I'll put them at the um, E tier. You weren't put them up at what? E. Where'd you have them? I had them low. I have them at I have them at E tier for bowl eligible. And you give them a couple more years. They're still like getting their feet wet. They they can win the Sun Belt. I uh, okay. they I feel like they all did they already win the Sun Belt or go to the Sun Belt game? Barely lost to yeah. Um okay. I'm all putting right, well, them C. That's right, where I right. had them. I mean, I could go up to a D. I can go up to a D there. I, so. I'm, I'm, you know what? Like, I've felt like I've let you have a bunch of these. Mm -hmm. I think C tier. Nomad, Nomad. Can, can I get some backup on a C tier? Anyone else in the chat? Can, can, can y'all <laughs> tell Kyle that he is wrong? B tier. Now, I, I can't, I can't back you on B tier. All right. This is for Appy State here. Appy State, gangland. Wow, they're we they're all couple, saying we got B. a couple of B's in there. Jeez, they're all saying B. We got at least put them C, Kyle. All right, all right. I'll let you get this one here. Yeah, okay. You let me. <laughs> all right, all right. So that's all the non-power fives here, Jared. All right. Uh, let's. I tell you what. Let's just go back and forth, just picking teams. All right. Uh, all right. you you did a bunch. Let me do one. Yep. Um, how do you feel about Michigan State right now? Michigan State, um, I think they hope to be bowl eligible. I, I got the I got them at E currently. Like it's it's such a they are in such a down spiral right now of a program. Man, I can't even consider them middle of the pack right now with the rise of other teams in the Big Ten right now. Yeah. <sighs> D'Antonio put that team, he brought them up, but then he also let them die. Um and oh, I just like they're doing the best they can to to not drown right now is where is how I see Michigan State. Yeah, they're they're a bad team. All right, Kyle, I have them at E, and I think you have them at E as well, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, they're they're E tier. All right, uh, all right. You want to keep going? You want us to do a few more? Uh no, your turn. Let's go back and forth. Let's ping pong. All right, it. let's do um, let's do um, Virginia Tech. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Virginia Tech, uh, once a proud program, 
uh, fell off. They're not terrible, but they're also not very good. Um, once again, I think we, we classify D as sort of a middle of the pack conference team. And I think that's what they are. They're a middle of the pack conference team. I agree. They'll, they'll get, to, they'll give some, some tough competition to the, to teams that are higher up than them. Absolutely. No, man. They, they're improving, but they also have troubles with teams in the lower part of their conference as well. So yeah. Yeah. Middle of the pack there. All right, let's go. Kyle, let's go Florida State. Oof. So we got Brand Cache. This one's, that has this, to count for something. This one's tough. Just yeah. <laughs> this one's that's, that's tough. mean, Gangland. That's mean. E. This no. one's tough. Just I I know you have to take last year into consideration and how the development of players as of recent has just hasn't been there. But man, just the the program itself and it kind of kind of think of them kind of like LSU in a way they get the right player and maybe even the right listen the, the right atmosphere the- in there I, I have them as C right now they can they hope to win the conference soon they're just yeah they're just not there yet Ex- I, exactly they get a may, a couple good coaching decisions a good quarterback a couple good a recruiting good recruiting class or two they're they're competing for the conference again. Um, the the program has money. The program has brand cachet. I, I don't see them putting them any lower down than a C. Um, but they're certainly not a B because they they don't have any hopes of making the playoffs or beating Clemson anytime soon. Nope, absolutely, I agree. Uh, let us do. Let's do Arkansas. Arkansas. The Razorbacks. Mm-hmm. This is a quintessential F to me. Okay, I I, I don't. I, they're they're worthless. Not not only are they bad and they're bad, but they're bad in the SEC West. <laughs> I I have the, I have them at E, but I could I could do F. They're, I could do F. But. They're a solid. Kyle, I don't. I think we invented F for Arkansas, which <laughs> they're knowing people in Arkansas, they probably spell it with an F, but. <laughs> we, we, uh, we we aren't talking about that yet nomad um all right so all right my turn yep your turn jerry all right i think this one's this one's going to be controversial all right georgia georgia all right i, w- I want to i want to see whoever's listening here in our chat here where do you have georgia you have s who's expected to win the national title a realistic to to win their conference uh b to Gangland said conference B. The, ooh, Gangland with B, Nomad with A. Jared, who do you where do you have Georgia? Michigan Bucknut says B. You guys are hating. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, Saban owns Kirby. Saban owns literally everybody. I hate yeah. to break that to you. Um, <laughs> I don't put him in an S tier because I don't know if, if someone in the chat wants to look it up for me, when's the last time Georgia won a national title? It's not been this millennia. I can't put him in S tier. How can you expect to win the national title when you haven't won a national title since the 80s? Is that right? I think we have a look it up, Kyle, look it up situation going on right now. Two. Two of them. 1980 and 1942. Yeah, that that's not an S tier team. Now they make the playoffs. They go to their conference championship game. Um, they realistically could win the national title because they have great recruiting classes. Lot, I think, I believe it was Herschel Walker Nomad. It was, um, yeah, win over Notre Dame. Yeah, so they're a solid A tier. You can't go to the S tier without winning a national title this millennia, but they're a solid playoff team. Um, Uh, as far as making the playoffs goes. And they went to the national title not long ago. This is the quintessential A team. I don't see a team being any more A tier than, than Georgia. Um, Excuse me. Um, I, I have them as the S tier. Like they have the players they have, like if it wasn't for Saban, like I think they would be in the national title multiple times. Uh, I think if it weren't for Kirby, I'm sorry. Who? 
Where, who, who, who cooks for you? Uh, who did Justin Fields commit to, Kyle? I know. I know, but with just everything that's going on with Georgia, I, I feel like that they, they're right there at that cusp of the SA tier. So I kind of, I kind of did bump them up to that S tier. Just can't. Okay. No, no oh. national title. Kyle, we have not been alive for a Georgia national title. We weren't alive. You and me. And we're not that young. <laughs> they can't be S tier. God, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Um, I, I guess I guess I can be convinced that Georgia can go to the A tier. So you can put them in A tier there. I uh, the, the, the convinced. Convinced, he says. Convinced. All right, Kyle, uh, your turn. Indiana. Indiana. This is, I like Indiana as a program right now. They're they're a program on the rise. Unfortunately for them, they're in the Big Ten East. But I think there's opportunity in the Big Ten East right now. Notre Dame's good, but they're not great. Michigan's on the way down. Michigan State's on the way down. Rutgers might be on the way up, but uh, you know we're not we're not quite there yet with Rutgers. But I I, I like Indiana. Um, now that being said, they're uh, you know they're they they want to. Indiana wants to get to the point where they could win. If Ohio, what if Ohio State had a bad year? They they could potentially win the conference. Maybe. Could yeah. can can I convince yeah. you to put Indiana in C tier? Last year, yes. <laughs> can I convince? Uh, could Indiana leap past Penn State and Michigan? Yeah, I mean, for a year, I don't think as a program. As a program, no. For a year, yeah, absolutely, I think they could. If if all the dominoes fell right, they could potentially. Well, what if their only loss? What if they only lose like one Big Ten East game? But pull an upset against Ohio State. Now they're in the Big Ten East, or now, now they're the Big Ten East representative. It's possible. Can I convince you to make Indiana a C tier? Yeah, I, I have them as a C tier. I have and Indiana I, as a C tier, and I yeah. and that's a huge win for them, in my opinion. It is. I mean, I mean, there was just even just like five years ago, I put them at like a E borderline E F team. Uh, yeah, for uh, for sure an E, for sure an E. Just a couple years ago. Mm, yeah. All right. Or we're not uh, putting them at B, Nomad. Uh, we have B as someone who could like make the playoffs. If Indiana actually won the conference, I still feel like they don't make the four-team playoff. Sorry. They're just yep. not that talented. Yep. All right, Jared. Who do you want to do next here? We'll do we'll do one more and then we'll do an ad read here. I'm glad you're watching the clock because I forgot. Um <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's go to Let's let's uh uh freezing West Virginia. West Virginia. Ugh. Mountain Mama. Um, Take me home. Hunter I didn't Rhodes. I didn't really know where to put them. And if I don't know where to put them, I just put them in at the middle of the pack there. <laughs> and that's kind of where I have them. I have them as a D as a D right now. Yeah, I don't I don't, I don't feel like they're realistically gonna win the win the Big 12 anytime soon, but they could pull some upsets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they're a D tier team. Yeah, I don't, I don't. So we have a, again, we have a C to our C ranking is based on if we, that we think that they can win a conference soon. And D is kind of like that middle of the pack of their conference. Everyone forgets they're in the Big 12, Nomad. They I are. think they forget they're in the Big 12. Mm -hmm. You're talking right, about it. You're talking about a place that wanted to join the SEC, but even the SEC said your academics suck. <laughs> All right, Jared. I think this is a good point to, to hear from our good sponsors over at the Iron Bean Coffee Company. Sure. Iron Bean Coffee Company is an Ohio based, Toledo based, Perrysburg based coffee company, micro roast coffee company. Uh, let, let's talk about the Nordic Trio, as I am going to start calling them for now on there's the thor which is a medium dark roast uh thunder and lightning will course through your veins you will bleed black uh then there's the thor 
thunder lightning will course through your veins. Nope, I, I, I read the Thor twice. Where's the Odin? There's the Odin. Odin, that's a dark coffee. Thor is a medium dark. The Odin's a dark. Uh, this is a coffee that will keep you fighting long after you should have gone to Valhalla. And then there's the Loki, which is like the lightest of the non-flavored roast that you can get over at the Iron Bean Coffee Company. And like, I'm not normally someone who would get a light roast. Now, this is a this is a light dash medium roast, so it's not it's somewhere in between. And I tell you what, I was shocked. I got a sampler pack. I was shocked how much I like the Loki. Again, I'm not I'm not a light roast guy, but it's it's real real good. It's a wet process blend, uh, higher in caffeine than you might expect, low in acidity, still rich tasting. Uh, has a really nice flagrance, F flagrance, fragrance. Uh, citrus and floral are the dominant taste. Um, I again, I was shocked. I was literally shocked how much I liked it. Uh, so you can check it out for yourself. There's also a bunch of flavored coffees in the what they on the website called the back room. So you can check all those out for yourself. A lot of dark roast, lots of medium roast, a great coffee company, great selection. They got mugs sometimes, too. Uh, so you can check all of that out at ironbeancoffee.com. That's Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. This episode is also brought to you by a good friend over at the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company is an Ohio-based company located in Cary, Ohio, Northwest Ohio, that is. And let me talk to you about some of their box sets that they have. So if you want to save a little bit of money and get a, a box set, uh, check out the three sets that they have over at the Mad Canadian BBQ.com. Uh, the first one here is the Just Send It. This is their, their do-it-all type of seasonings. It has the S&P Bud, Sonoran Heat, Cajun, Smoked. It has a little bit of everything in there. Um, you can use pretty much any, any of those for any of your barbecue outings. Uh, then they have the Sweet Heat. I call it the Chicken Wing Set. Night Canadian steals that, puts that in the description. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Uh, it includes the Four Horsemen, the Discord, the Old Fashioned, and the Two Border. I love this set. Love this. And you know what? You know what I love even better, Jared? The Whole Hog. Yeah. It is one, it is one of each of the seasonings over at the Mad Canadian BBQ.com website. You get to save a bunch of money if you get all of the sea, all of the seasonings by adding the whole hog to your cart and you can save 10% more by using that promo code sweepcast 10 at checkout. Again, check all of that and much more over at the Mad Canadian BBQ.com Mad Canadian barbecue company where they have your butt covered. All right, Kyle, we're back in it now. Um, it's your turn. It's your turn. Your turn. Your My turn. My turn. Uh, let us go. Oh, this one would be a fun. One. You SC. And I'm talking about the Trojans and not the Gamecocks. Well, why would we <laughs> talk about? I don't know. USC. USC, Jared. Yeah. Oh, this one's tough for me because of I know. I know where they can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know how bad the Pac-12 is. That's true. I think that does deserve to be weighed into this. Yeah, and that's why I put them in the B tier. Yeah, I still feel like they're a C tier, C -tier team. Um, I don't know, you might be right. Here, here's my problem: is that I have a hard time putting a team in the B tier whose coach is going into the season as a guy who's probably going to get fired. <laughs> yeah. It's really hard for me to say, oh, this program has great direction. Oh, by the way, they're going to fire their coach at the end of the year. Yeah, I'm kind of on that board of C, B tier. But again, we both agreed Oregon and Washington were B teams. And yeah. I, I think USC, realistically, I mean, they, I mean, for what the season was last year. Yeah. USC, I'm just verifying, making sure I'm not making, I'm not, um, I'm saying it right here. Uh, Pac-12, Pac-12. They had the best record in the Pac-12 last year. I, the Pac I, I have a hard time taking anything seriously that happened in the Pac-12 last year. All right. Um, well. They got money. They've got brand. 
mm-hmm. they've got cache. Mm-hmm. They got according to compo- according to the composite, the number one player in the entire country last year mm-hmm. in the 2021 recruiting class. There's lots of good reasons to put them into B. But they're going to fire their coach at the end of the year. And we know that at the beginning of the year. How can I say the program is in good shape? Knowing that their duck, their their coach is a lame duck. Uh, let's see. Uh, Michigan Bucknut says C tier. Uh, so. All right, I guess, I guess we'll put them in C. Michigan Bucknuts are a tiebreaker there then. So no man said oh, B. Oh, oh, oh. Now we're tied again. Oh, now oh, we're tied. We need, we, oh. need, we need another vote. Guys, we need another vote. Come on, gangland. Someone <laughs> help us out. I don't see anyone type. Oh, C. All right. C. All right. Well, there Gangland's we go. C. We're C. We're C. USC is C. Okay. All right, Jared, who, who do we got next? I think we have to move a little bit quicker here. So, all right, uh, let's 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 do an easy one. Arizona State it could get death penalty soon. Uh, the entire coaching staff might get fired. Uh, insane recruiting violations, straight up paying players. They're screwed. They're in the F tier. All right. I'll, I'll agree with you. I have them in ear, but E ear. I have them ear? in the E group, but yeah, you convinced me F. Okay. All right. Uh, pick another oh. easy one, Kyle. Um, hold on. I'm I'm I since I can't see your screen, I'm kind of bolding all the ones oh. that we're doing here. So um let's you know, let's do Arizona. Let's stay let's stay in that same state there. Arizona. All right. Um I'll give you a hint. I have them at the as the same letter. I have them at just F. I I you know what? For the sake of moving through this quickly, sure. I think they're. I think they're an E. I don't think they're. I don't think they're completely right. hopeless. But let's. We got, we got F's. We got F's in the chat here. So, oh, did someone die? That's a, <laughs> that's a Twitch joke for everyone. That is a out. Twitch joke. Yes. <laughs> All right, Jared. Who do you want to do next here? All right. Uh, let's do. I think this is an easy one. Let's do Pitt quintessential middle of the pack upset darling they're the team that's good enough to to knock off clemson or florida state or whoever miami whoever happens to be good in the acc that year middle of the pack conference team they're a solid d i have them as an e to be bull eligible there but they're they're such but, but the pit super weapon kyle one of the qualifiers i have in d is upset darling they're they're quintessential upset darlings oh but i I just can't like pit jared i just can't like pit well let me how about this for all of the shit they give penn state you should like pit all right fine all right i knew i was gonna get you on that one fine fine middle of the pack team all right so that was pit uh, let's stay in the ACC, Jared. You know, Nomad, that's a good point. Unfortunately, I already placed them. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Hold on, uh, hold on. Mark May, no, you know what? Nomad's right. Um, Mark May tiebreaker, we're bumping them down to E. All right. That's for Mark May. Yes. All right. Um, let's stay in the ACC. Let us do uh, Louisville. Let's do Louisville. Uh, Louisville. I got nothing on Lou. Uh, where do I, you have Louisville? Oh, I see where you have Louisville. I don't even remember. I don't, you have, I don't spend a you lot of time the, thinking about Louisville. You have them at C. I have them at E. So let's just put them at D. Yeah, C was too high. What the hell was I thinking at C? Let's um, put them at D then. Yeah, we'll put them at D. All right. D's fine. Uh, all, the entire chat said D as well. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, Jared. All right, Kyle. Let's, 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 let's spend some time on one. Let's go Oklahoma. Ooh, yes, Oklahoma is one we haven't talked about. I have them. I have them as S. I have them as S. I think they have the players. I think they have the coach. Watching the chat, we have two A's and an S so far. I, I have them at S. I just, it just can't. They just, if they don't play, have to play Saban. <laughs> They've not won a playoff game. Their defense yeah. is consistently and horrendously bad. 
they have won a national title on this side of the millennia. Mm -hmm. So I will give them that. Um, they go to the playoffs, but they can't win in the playoffs. <sighs> they're, they're, if there's ever been a team that could so perfectly fit in S or A, this is it. Um, and I think, I think they're an A team because I don't think the expectation is for them to win the national title. I think the expectation is for them to go to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. I, I think there's a, a hump they need to get over, and I don't think they're over it. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I guess you. I guess I can put them at A. I just, I just think just because they've been there so many times, it's just one of these times they're they're going to get over that hump. Just kind of like what Ohio State did with beating Clemson there, getting over that that hump there. Okay, but do me a favor and look down at the shirt you're wearing. I know. I know. Ohio State has been to the playoffs and won the playoffs. Uh, Ohio State has three more playoff victories than Oklahoma. Yeah. All right. Um, Florida, Jared. Ooh. Since we're going high, higher um, rankings here, let's do Florida. Florida is an interesting one to me because I feel like you could make a real good argument for B or C. Um. B again, realistically could win the national title, make the playoffs. And I think uh, realistically could win the conference, make the playoffs. C, they kind of are just hoping to win the conference at some time soon. They're not getting over. Yeah, B minimum for sure. Uh, I don't know. It could be C. Like, when was the last time that they won the conference? It was with Urban Meyer. Had Has they, it been that long? They've not won the conference since Urban Meyer left. Absolutely not. Now, blame Saban. Sure. Blame Saban. But they've, they can't get past Georgia. They sure as hell can't get past Alabama. If they were in a lesser conference, they might be higher on the list, but they aren't, so they aren't. Hmm. That's why I put them at a C tier. <sighs> well, I, I have them as an A tier, but I, I guess after you after what you said here, I'll, I can downgrade them to a B tier. Okay, but let, let me let me float this out there for you. Mm -hmm. It might generate some clicks if I'm able to put Florida in C in the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, i just can't put them in c i all really right. can't we'll put them in b we'll put them in b i really can't we'll put them in b all right um all right let's do a couple more here real quick jared we're at 48 minutes all right we got let's... a lot to do all right um we'll just just we got to move quickly that's all we got to do got to quit thinking got to start going um it, it's it's my turn i i should just do it huh uh, let's go Utah. Let's go back to the Pac-12. Let's go Utah. Ah, uh, Utah, Utah. I have the middle of the pack there. I have them. At, I have them as a as a D there. I don't. I don't think. I don't think they're ready to win a conference anytime soon. But I think they're a middle of the pack team. I think they could realistically win the Pac-12. Hmm. That's why I put them. It's that's why. Hell, I think in my and I did it real quick. I put them in B in mine. I now I ran through that real quick and I, I'll I'll acknowledge B was probably too high. Let's right. compromise and say C. All right, we'll we'll do C then. All right, uh, let's stick in the Pac-12 here. Stanford. Now Stanford, I have as a C there. Um, yeah, C is fine. Okay. Where did I put him? I can't. You put him at B, Jared. What were you thinking? I, I was thinking I was giving them a bit of a bonus because the Pac-12 is terrible. All right. All right. That's true. Um, All right. Um, let, let's let's finish off. But the no, you're right. We'll put them at C. All right. Let's let's finish off the Pac-12. Uh, Colorado. I I I got a middle of the pack, maybe. I I well, I'll I'll give you a hint here. So Colorado, UCLA, and Cal, I have all as E's for me. When was the last time any of them had a winning record? Hmm. Yeah, that's why I have them at E. No, yeah. I'm actually asking. I don't know. <laughs> yeah you know what yeah screw it let's finish out the pack 12 we'll put colorado oh oh what am i doing break i'm breaking everything kyle i'm breaking I'm, why, why can't i select cal 
I can't see, Jared, so I can't help you. <laughs> oh, I, well, you couldn't help me even if you could see. Uh, Cal and UCLA, all all at E. And Colorado as well? Yeah, yeah, and Colorado. All right, all right and, the, and the last two we have here, Jared, Oregon State and Washington State. Oh, we already placed Oregon State. Oh, we did? Oh, yep, you're right. All right, Washington State. Uh, did we place Washington State? Mm-mm, nope, not yet. All right, well, are they F tier? I have them as F tier. Yeah, I, I don't know wh- how we didn't do that during the lightning round. That's why I was confused. Oh, we did. Yep. Yep. Oh, Washington no, we should State. have. Right. We didn't. We should have. All right, Washington State's F tier. Yeah, all right, we should so that- have. That should have been a lightning round here. All right. So yeah. that's all the Pac-12. Uh, let's do the Big 12. Let's let's do the Big 12. We have half of them there. So and real quick. Uh, Duke should be in the F tier. I have Duke as the E tier. They've had a couple. They've had a couple of years where they're like, "Hey, eh, we're both eligible," but, but, all right, I'll let you have it. Okay. All right, we'll put Duke in. Uh, and by the way, I, there's I'm a little... lot of Fs in the chat, Kyle. All right, fine. Put them in Fs. Every, everyone wants to see Duke die. So, I mean, a little. All right. Uh, I, all right. I'm, 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 I guess. I guess we'll, we'll do. We'll, we'll do oh, the oh, ACC God. thing. Oh God. Oh God. Graphic problems. Graphic problems. All right, we'll do the ACC. Um, you you go ahead. I'm fixing the graphic. I have them down in the bottom. I don't know where you have them, but I have Georgia Tech and Syracuse as an F tier as well. Um, Georgia Tech, I feel like, is is getting better. I think they're making progress. So I don't want to call them hopeless. They were real, real bad. And they have some new coaches in there. They're, it's going to take them. A, it's taking them some time to recover from being a wing T team. That takes time to recover from. They have hope. They have direction. I think. And, I think the chat. I think the chat here has got D. So all right. yeah, not not D. Oh, oh, not D. Yeah, E, E, E. I don't know e. if I don't know if there's. It's E. Maybe they forgot there's an E. All right. Um, and then Syracuse. I have them as an F too. I just have no faith for Syracuse. Other than maybe, and then maybe they could beat Clemson once in a while, but that seems like the only team that they could beat. I I, I like. I like the you know Babers. Can I can I get you? Can I do an E? They have a no, good coach. We got two F's here. We got two F's in there. So I really like you know. Uh, all right, I, I've been outvoted. Garbage. I've been Garbage. outvoted. Yes. I I I think they should at least be E. e. All right. All right. Whatever. 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 We're moving forward. Um. All right. Moving Ole on here. How about Ole Miss? Oh, oh, we're switching conferences. Ole Miss. Uh, oh, I, I have no, them. We weren't switching conferences. <laughs> I have the middle of the pack in the SEC. There, I have them as a D. I feel like D is generous. Can I? Can I convince you to make it an E? Yeah, sure. I, I'm not a big. I'm not a big fan of any of the Mississippi teams. So, sure. Well, of the two. <laughs> well, well, hold on. Uh, l- let's go ahead and just do the other one. Um. Mississippi State, it, Mississippi State, I have them as an E. Yeah, I think neither of them are hopeless. They have new coaches. They have new directions. They're in the SEC West, so that that's always going to be a stinger. But I, I wouldn't call them hopeless. Yeah. All right. Kyle, North Carolina. U-N-C. North Carolina. That last letter there, Jared. C. C. Ah, C. Um, can I, can I convince you to put them in B? Let me make a case. Give me, give me a year. Give me a year and maybe I could go up to a B, but as of what I'm seeing right now, I like, I like what, I like what they're doing right now, but realistic to win the conference right now. No, with Clemson. No, but, but hope, here's the thing. They're hope, in the same hope division. To win, is, hope to win the conference. Are soon? they, are they yes. in the same division? Yes. They're, they're making huge leaps under Mac. They're recruiting great. They've got money. They've got cachet. Now, like that money and cachet might be bought out from the basketball team, but they still have it. So, yeah, they're 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 in the they're in the different um, division than Clemson. But you know what? They still have to play Clemson in the in the in their conference title. But that's the thing. That's one game. That's one game. One game to win the to win the conference. I don't know, man. Uh, They belong in B tier. Right. All right. They um, could very realistically win their conference. So we got a couple of C's and a B. I say B, you say C, so or you say B, excuse me. So 
We got three C's and two B's, Jared. Yeah, but the C's are wrong. <laughs> Could let me ask you this: Are they the best team in their division of a Power Five team? They are the best team in their division in the ACC. Yes. That to me makes them a realistic opportunity. Oh, Nomad says one of those C's was for an earlier vote. Oh, okay. Um, They're the best team in their division in the ACC. I think that gets them to B. Not, not every conference needs a, somebody in the B. But they're clearly the best team. It's not like they're like... <laughs> Say you could say like Wisconsin's the best team in the Big Ten West, but are they clearly the best team in the Big Ten West? North Carolina is clearly the best team in the Atlantic or Coastal or whichever one there. I, I can't ever keep right. the name straight. All right, I, I like I like I like Nomads here. If Wisconsin's a B, UNC is a B. All right. I yes, I right. thank you. All right, all right. Let's let's move on. Uh, Miami, the Hurricanes, Jared. I have, the, I have them as a C. I also convinced Michigan Bucknut. <laughs> I should have been a lawyer. <laughs> I have I have the Hurricanes as a I have the Hurricanes as a C. Uh yeah. Uh yeah, I think so. I, I think yeah. I, they have I, their years, they have their losses. They're yeah. a C team. Yeah. Pretty inconsistent. Yep. Uh Northwestern, Jared. Northwestern. Can I convince you to go B tier? No. Okay. C. I got Northwestern C. C C C. Okay. All right. I I feel like I already, I used up all my gas on North Carolina. <laughs> you gotta pick your you gotta pick your battles here, Jared. Fair enough. Um. All right. Texas is Texas back, Jared? No. All right. I have him as a C. <laughs> yeah, that's that's sad, but I think they can. I think they can hope to win their conference. Hmm. And and I'll kind of I'll combine Texas with TCU and Iowa State as well. Uh, oh man, I don't know. I I I like Iowa State. Don't get me wrong. I like what they're doing there. They're moving in the right direction, but like they're a middle of the pack conference team. Hope to hope to upset a team here or there. I I like where they're going, Jared. I do too. Not, 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 I not, just, not just because of my um, not just because of how well they did last year and uh, my but prediction. One year, but, we're um, talking about. I, the I like where they're going. Program here. No, they're 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 a C. They can hope to win the conference soon. They're like you said, like you said with with UNC. They're one game away no, from not. win. No, they're not. All right, I'm. I'll let you have it, but I think it's generous. All right. Uh let's see here. Uh you said TCU before? I said yeah, TCU as well. I have a C. I feel like okay, that I, I don't think I can let you have that. They've not been good the past couple years. I like their I like their coach. You have them as a C as well here in the graph. Do I? You do. You have TCU as a as, as your C here. Yes, they they did beat OU, but that's what I'm saying. Like they're an upset darling. I think a, a D is upset darlings. Mm. Um, you, have TC, you have TCU as a C as well, Jared. All right, we'll, we'll put TCU as a C. All right, uh, Boston College. I like their direction, but they're, mm -hmm. they're not there yet. I think they're a D, but I think that's saying something because I think last year they would have been an F. Yeah, no, absolutely. Or a D, I, or they would have been, excuse me, they would have been an E. Now they're a D. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I give them a D. Uh, let's kind of but that's, that's with... but it's positive. It's positive maneuvering. Mm -hmm. It's kind of stick with um, the ACC here. I also have a D with NC State. Sure, they're, they're that middle back. They're the middle of that pack. They can they give some teams some um, some tough games. They lose some games. They shouldn't it as well. I, I think they're, I think they're a middle of the pack team. They're not they're not terrible like the bottom teams that we see like with. Wake Forest, Georgia Tech, Duke. Are they still on the graph? NC State? Yeah. We haven't talked to them about them yet. Are you, are you sure? I, am uh -huh. I, am I, 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 I see I see where you put them. You put them as an E group. 
It's going to have an S. It's an oh, S with an N and a C. In C for some reason. Um, I feel like that was a mistake. Um, uh, maybe Stanford. Maybe that's where you put Stanford. I don't know. We'll figure it out, though. We'll figure yeah. it out later. Uh, you, you, you have. What, what, you did have you, N- what did you say? E E for NC State. I have D. D? Middle uh, of the pack. Uh, you're you're my resident expert on on the Wolfpack, so I'm gonna let. So I'm just gonna go with you on that one. Yeah, I, I can't put them. See, the hope to win the conference soon. They're not. They're not close. They're, Kyle, they're I feel like that. this one's going to be controversial. All right. I believe Nebraska is an E tier. <sighs> I don't feel like they're one of the better teams in their own division. Um, they've not had a winning record in a while. Um, where we're not acknowledging that yet, Nomad. <laughs> I, I feel like they're an E tier. All right. We got it. We got a, we got a C. We got an F. Uh, they're not an I, F. I, I think, I think, I think, I think that C was for another one. We have an F there. Um, you know, I have them as a D. I, I guess, yeah, we could put them as an E. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not willing to call them hopeless by yeah. any means. Yep. Um, let's stick with the Big Ten here. Uh, let's okay. go with the Gophers. We're going to Gophers. Minnesota. Um, I feel like they're um, top one, two, three teams in their division, um, which I think puts them at about a C level. Mm. No, mm. I have them as as a conference as a boat. whole. Row the boat. I have them as a D. I have them at that middle of the pack there. Row the boat. All right, Michigan Bucknut says C. Can they get any more tiebreakers? Any more tiebreakers? Do we have Maryland as a C or a D? No, not Maryland. Not Minnesota. Maryland. I'm sorry, Minnesota. Mer- Minnesota as a C or D there. All right, we need I, your help, chat. We're giving this one to you. D, uh, no We have one C, we have one D. That's C. All right. C. All right, I guess, I guess they're going to C there. All right. All right, let's, let's stick with the big running 10. Out, um, running, running out of C space. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Maryland. Maryland, I have them as a D, the middle of the pack team. Yeah, I think so. Um, I, that's that's fine by me. I think I personally had them E, um, but I'm, I'm I just don't feel like fighting you on it, and it's fine. I because <laughs> right. I, I, they could be they could be a D, they could be an E. All so right. let's do the last let's do the last three for the Big Ten here. Iowa. Um, There's four, but three. <laughs> all right. Iowa C tier. Uh, I have them D. Just I don't think they're ready to win a conference yet. They, they've had I, Ference I think is in his last years. They're reeling from some off field issues last year. We can bump them down to a D. Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad I'm glad I'm able to bump Iowa from a B that you have them to D. That, I I told you I did that like in five minutes. <laughs> That's right, um, that's, that, that's ridiculous. I don't know what, what about, the hell. What about talking. Rutgers? I uh, I have a lot of hope for Rutgers because mm. I think Greg Sean is going to turn them around, but I don't think we actually have evidence of that. So they're not hopeless, but they're still Rutgers. So let's say E tier. Mm. I have them as hopeless. There, I have them as an F. Uh, no, not not with Sean. Sean is recruiting well. They they looked respectable last year all right, all right we can do e we can do e and then yeah, i was gonna i was gonna die on that hill all right all right and purdue jared purdue i have as an e mm, e hoping to be bowl eligible mm-hmm. i feel like they're an upset darling i feel like they're a middle of the pack team i feel like they could be d i got two e's here i got i got right, i got i'm getting e. outvoted i'm getting outvoted we'll put them in e i, I think that's disrespectful <laughs> personally but we're moving forward all right, uh, Virginia. We haven't covered the last one for the ACC. Virginia. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, you, you get it, but you get it. I got nothing on Virginia. I, uh, I don't know. I put them at E. I, I don't, they, I don't think they're all that great of a team. I have them as E. We're putting them in E. All right. Uh, I think that's everybody in the ACC. It's everybody in the Big Ten. Uh, let's, that's everybody in the Pac 12. Uh, let's do, Let's do the let's finish the Big Twelve here. Oklahoma State. Uh I I I have no respect for Oklahoma State. 
Um, e- even <laughs> when they're even when they're good, they're still inconsistent. Mm-hmm. Um, that's why I have pack the conference D. team. That's why I have the D. Yeah, middle of the pack conference team. All right. Um, and then the last two here I have as E, Baylor and Texas Tech. Um, yeah, Baylor and Texas Tech is E's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll go with that. All right, cool. All right, all you right. might be uh, a bit generous with Texas Tech potentially. Mm. But all right, all right. The last ones here we have for the the SSA. Uh, I'm surprised here. I have Vanderbilt as an F. By the way, you we have still the- have we still have the uh, Central Florida Knights on here. Oh, I miss them. Yeah. Uh, where, where do you have Central Florida? Because I don't have them ranked at all. I have them as a C. I, I think they're on the same relative level as like Tulsa and BYU. Okay. I can, I can, I could do with that. I could deal with that. All right, UCF going in C tier. All right. Any others? That's not SEC. Um. Sta- yeah, th- there was the Stanford one. That's yeah. Y- you diagnosed that correctly. Where did we say Stanford went? Um, C. I'm, I'm putting them in D. D E yeah. F. D. Okay. No. <laughs> We're putting them in D. Who cares? It's Stanford. Uh, Vanderbilt. I have Vanderbilt as an F. You have them in E. Explain to me why you have Vanderbilt as an E here, Jared. I, I like do not that. understand how you could put Vanderbilt as an E. Because I think I think their uniforms are cool. I don't. I, the, the, I don't know. They're they're better. They have hey, direction. Hey, hey, chat, hey, chat. How many how many games did Vanderbilt win last year? I feel like they have direction. Mm-hmm. There you go, Jared. Okay, we're putting F. Them we're putting them F. F. You know who else I have in the F tier? I can admit when I'm wrong. I can admit you, when I'm wrong. You know who else I have in the F tier, Jared? Missouri, Tennessee. That that's silly. <laughs> That's silly and you know it. (laughs) I don't like Tennessee either. What what has Tennessee done good? What have they done good, Jared? They're they're not hopeless. And here's, listen, F tier equals hopeless. They have money. They have facilities. They have a nice stadium. I can't put Tennessee with all of their resources in F where they are hopeless. That's it. That's it. I just I can't put a team with that level of fan support and money and facilities as an F tier. I just feel like for Tennessee, rock bottom is E. That I can't call them hopeless. God hurts you to like them more than Jared. Uh, like all right, them. you can put them in E. I have them as F, but all right, come on, no, Nomad's typing. Let's see what Nomad has to say. Oh, I have he already as... said Tennessee's an E. Yeah, he has them as E. All right, it's it's E then. All right, um, we have put them right next to Texas Tech. We have three more here, Jared. We have three more. Kentucky. Um, uh, Kentucky's at be- uh, middle middle of the road conference team. Is that fair? Um, e? yeah, I have them as D. I have them as D, middle. All right. Middle Same thing with Missouri. I have Missouri as the D as well. I feel like that's, I feel like maybe that's generous for Missouri. I, I could think, be convinced. Yeah, I, I don't feel like talking that much about Missouri. That's, that's my argument. All right. You can put them as E then. All right. You can put them as E. All right. And the last one we and have we're, is we're out of spots in E. The, the last one we have here is Auburn, at least from what I'm putting down here. All right. Auburn. Um, I feel like you could make a strong case for Auburn as either an. I think they're a B. I think they're a solid B. Uh, lots of they they recruit well. B realistically. Here here's the thing about Auburn and why I think they should be a B. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. They're very capable of winning their conference. And I say that one, because they're very good at upsetting Bama. And two, because they're willing to cheat their asses off. So you just never know when they're going to land a bunch of five stars. 
They bought and paid for Cam Newton and won a national title. You got to you got to respect the team willing to just straight up fucking cheat and get away with it. I I got the mess C. Okay. Like I just All right. Listen, I got my joke in. That's all I care about. Put them in C. I put, put them in C. C. Thank you. All right, Kyle. We have one last team. Oh, we do. We have one last team. Uh, I thought we covered them all. Nope. We have one team that shall not be named. We refer to them only as the team up north. And they get their own tier. They get the M tier at the very bottom of the motherfucking chart because that's where they belong. <laughs> yes. M tier. By the way, while we're at it, since since we've now revealed that M tier is a thing. Since M tier is now on the board. I'm going to go ahead and move Tennessee down there, too. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I think that's where Tennessee belongs. <laughs> a team that has no business being as hopeless and shitty as they are yet. There they are. <laughs> I can get down with that. All right. All right. There, there's your, there's your thumbnail right there. <laughs> I can't, can't do the whole thumbnail. <laughs> that, that just gives away the episode. Yeah. Okay, Kyle, that's it. That's the end of the episode. Let me, let me go full screen. Let me let me bring the thing back up. Oh, look, there's all of our people down there in the chat room. We can see them now. Uh, well, fuck statistics. This is just my opinion. <laughs> all right, uh, Kyle, that's the end of the episode. Um, everyone visit the Um We have T-shirts. You can go to merch.thesloopcast.com. That says take me home. Cause it's, you know, it's like the beginning song and, uh, that's it. I think I, Kyle, there's no Kyle's corner because this is a shelf episode. Mm -hmm. Unless you just want to, you got anything? No, it can't really do a Kyle's corner no. here. So, um, uh, go crew, <laughs> new, new, new stadium. <laughs> Happy. Whatever holiday happens to be closest to when we release this. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your holidays. Um, that's it. I, I got nothing. So uh, with all of that being said, I'd like to <laughs> encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. I forgot to tell you that Defiance Ohio is the band ending today's show. Uh, they're, the name of the band is Defiance Ohio, despite the fact that they're actually from Columbus, but who cares? So uh, ending tonight's show, Defiance Ohio. So with that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. This is Defiance, Ohio. Wasn't that fun, YouTube and chat? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> wow, look at that. <laughs> Nomad and Gangland thinking the same. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. This is kind of a YouTube centric show. I hope it plays well as an audio podcast. Um, I, the tier list is fun. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I admit, <laughs> listen, I admit to being wrong all the time. And I know because I get a lot of fucking practice. <laughs> All right, YouTube, that's the end of the show. That's it. There's 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 no more ink in this well. Um <laughs> Bye Michigan Bucknut. You geographically challenged bastard. All right, let's let's end the show here, Jared. All right. Once again, I'd like to thank Defiance Ohio for ending today's show. And I once again would like to thank the Iron Bean Coffee Company for sponsoring today's show. Uh, we talked about our Nordic trio. Let's talk about the Rocco. Uh, the Rocco, you can get it in a medium or a dark roast. See, it makes it unique among the Iron Bean Coffee Company, Iron Bean Coffee Company family. Um, like I said, it's it's the only it's the only coffee that comes in two different roasts. Um, it's a like it's a real special, unique Ethiopian natural. 
Uh, and this is an Ethiopian natural at its best. Um, it's it, This is just a coffee for those who, if you like a coffee that insists on being noticed, like if you want a coffee that's actually going to get your attention and not just taste like a regular cup of coffee, Rocco's for you. Uh, let's see. There's the cast iron, which is a medium roast uh, made with 100% single origin her her mm, her I I I one beer and I can't say I can't say it. It's it's Honduras, but it's her I I can't say it. One beer, can't say it. Regardless, they're arabica beans. Um, yeah, they're arabica beans. Honduran, got it. I just had to not think about it. Um, then there's the Rage Against the Dying of the Light. That's another medium roast. Uh, this one has notes of cherry, milk, chocolate, orange, maybe a little bit of a rose petal in there. It's a medium body with a long finish, um, plenty smooth flavors, aromas. It's 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 all good. Guys, listen, just go buy some coffee because it's all damn good. <laughs> Do, you can read all the descriptions for yourself at ironbeancoffee.com. They have lots of flavored coffees, lots of coffees uh, not flavored that I didn't get a chance to get to yet. Huge selection over there at Iron Bean Coffee Company. Um, so and with that being said, you get like the whole shebang, which is a big coffee sampler. So if you're, if you don't know what like notes of this or aromas of that means, just get the sampler. You just get a bunch of small bags of all the different coffees. You can find the one you like. And once you find the one you like, you can sign up for subscribe and save. Win for can win, baby. So you can start your coffee journey over at ironbeancoffee.com. That's Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. This episode was also brought to you by the Med Canadian Barbecue Company. I'm going to give you some more seasonings that you should purchase over at the MadCanadianBBQ.com. I hope so. <laughs> the Coffee and Q. Just talked about some, some coffee. And yes, there is coffee in this Coffee and Q from the Iron Bean Company. Yeah, it's, it's the cast iron, as a matter of fact. If you're curious is, which yeah. coffee, it's the cast iron. Yes, uh, it says here, have you have you ever been up all night cooking barbecue or had to wake up really early to throw to throw your food on so it was ready by dinner time? This seasoning is inspired by those exact situations. A blend of coffee and barbecue seasoning that offers just the right about the amount of coffee flavor and barbecue flavor that will add that something extra to your food. Great on beef, poultry, pork, you name it. Uh, now, probably bland with cast iron, just like what Jared said from Iron Bean Coffee Company. Uh, the old fashioned, it's their most interesting spice. It works to mimic that exact um, taste of that classic drink, sweet, bourbony, and the right amount kick of bitter. Or the Brits blend. It's the same seasoning that Mrs. Mad Canadian uses herself anytime they make chili. Goes great in salsa. Gives that heat, savory taste that goes great even in potato salads. So mix it up, put it in different things. You'll it'll get that little little extra kick into all of your your barbecues or side dishes. Check out those and much much more over at themadcanadianbbq.com. That is themadcanadianbbq.com. Be sure to use that promo code SLUCAS10 for ten percent off more off your entire order. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company, where they have your butt covered. Uh, as we said before, make sure to both follow us on our YouTube channel and also be sure to follow us on the Buckeye Scoop YouTube channel. Peace.